Yo, yeah, what's up? Hey, my name's Carl Marissi and I'm a 24-year-old Samoan male who's currently participating in the Pacifica Youth Empowerment Program. And uh, basically, I'm just here to talk to you about my experience and why I reckon you should take it on. So what is this program? Well, basically, the program is to help create young Pacifica leaders who will be able to tackle the issues around Pacifica health and well-being. The program format is real simple. Practically, uh, there are a whole bunch of modules that are put together to cover a few things. One, education around the issues of Pacifica health and well-being. Secondly, education as to how uh, we can tackle these issues, looking at um, other kind of case studies. Um, finally, for me, um, looking at ways that we can take a bottom-up approach to basically tackle these issues and uh, create plans that uh, we can take to our communities to uh, get this to get to really get this movement started. Love is for anyone and everyone, but mainly our Pacific community. This is where the problem is like crazy, and so we really want to target the um, at-risk community, which is our Pacific people. How do our values and our culture um, intertwine with the issues on a national scale, and also how we look on a global scale too? Youth empowerment program is can be can be implemented in in any area, whether it's health or whether it's other social issues surrounding inequality um, and social determinants of health. My leadership um, and what kind of leader I am, and also the positives to it, not just the negatives. Um, so shout out to all nurturers out there. CC helped us know our past um, culturally so that we can make a better informed decision. Um, Obesity and just the, um, the history behind it as well as um, solutions possibly and, and just knowing that I can be a solution to that. Um, I don't have to be part of the statistic. module in this program was when my team and I had a Mexican feast. Not only did we get to eat, but I learned that it's important to have a feast with your family every once in a while and to involve some greens in it and to eat what you make or make what you eat. So the, the leaves and the branches being the like the the most visible and kind of the most obvious reasons for obesity. Um, the the trunk being the systematic reasons and then the roots being the major causes or foundations of causes of obesity. That was just eye opening to see um, the different crossovers of sections and actually you know identifying what the issues are that contribute to obesity and therefore what we need to change. this campaign uh, I really hope to achieve positive change however it may be measured I just hope that it brings about awareness to people that people start taking it seriously that they see how it's affecting not only them but you know the generation to come the base stuff um, how to um, improve lifestyle I guess 
um, how to live healthier. Looking forward to do that with our Aia Eola program. So yeah, hashtag it's live, yep. Thank you. For me, it's creating a plan and actually taking it out into the community and also doing it with like-minded. There's the, the big guy like myself, but um, yeah, I've been, um, I've learned a lot to, you know, to put a stop to this um, and, you know, create a solution, I guess, um, is what we called it in one session. We are seen as and known as a solution in our time, um, providing help for ourselves and challenge for me was actually when we finally took the program to our church. Um, it's not easy to finally have um, something that you've put all your effort into um, critiqued by the people that you kind of look up to, the people that you've kind of been raised by. So for me, um, massive challenge was definitely facing um, the critique of other people outside the program. I group and what we're doing, uh, eat to live, I eat eola, you know, need to eat ourselves so that we can um, it healthy and just to live healthy. In order to drive this change, we really need to stay focused, stay committed, stay passionate about bringing about this positive change within our community. great honestly Jeremy Gertz Hannah and um, Raz thanks so much it wouldn't have been possible without you buddy I hope Dr. Max puts a really awesome uh, digital narrative thing together so yeah the program is that Pacifica communities well-being matter program see the thing that's above me love heart if you love yourself and you love the people around you, especially our Pacific community, and then you know what to do. You need to make a change. And this program is definitely the way to do it. Peace out.